Welcome to What It Do. It's your boy Steph. So, I'm at the gym. I'm going to film a, just for, some for all for you guys, guys like Steph. Um, Steph, how can I get bigger for him? I'm supposed to work out I can do for me. Um, and I know a lot of guys, it's like, um, Steph, can we see you train leg? Uh, you got me talking a little about it routine. So, um, I will train legs. Today is Monday, I'll train legs Wednesday, and I'll film that for you guys to show y'all what I do with my legs. Uh, now, I'm just going to uh, show y'all what I do, man, for, um, you know, for, um, man, it's real simple, it's not hard to train your form. And you want to make shit so simple as possible. You don't want to overcomplicate shit, all right? So, I'll catch you with y'all later. All right, so, it's only maybe three exercises, feathers you can do to make your forearms bigger. Uh, you can do some sort of curl this way, or so a reverse curl, which is going to hit your forearm and your brachialis. You can do a wrist curl. So when you do a wrist curl, it's hitting this part of your forearm, right? This part of your forearm. And you can also do a um, hammer curl. A hammer curl is going to hit your forearm as well and your brachialis. Um, it's very simple. It's not. It's not complicated. It's not something that you have to overthink. Now I know I talk about. Um, nucleus overload a lot. I talk about how to, uh, you should train a muscle every day if you want it to grow faster. Uh, back in 2015, 2016, I did it with my shoulders. Um, I also did it with my calves. I also did it with my hamstrings and my quads. And I noticed the best improvements is when I train the muscle group every day. Um, now, now you're going to say, Steph, did you train it heavy? Yes, I trained it heavy for four to five sets. The total amount of reps in the whole workout the muscle that I want to train the most every day, 100 to 200 reps, right? So just want to show you guys that. So like when you're doing a reverse curl, right? When you're doing a reverse curl, right? You want your arms here, hand shoulder width apart like this. All you want to do is roll your shoulder blades back. You don't want to have your shoulder blades like this. Roll your shoulder blades back, then lift, one. Shoulder blades is back, so that means all stress are on my forearms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Now, another way you can do it is you can grab the bar. I'm going to show y'all, right? You can grab the bar like this. And all you can do is just rotate your wrist like you're doing a bicycle, like, like you're driving a, a motorcycle or something like that. So rotating your wrist just like this, just like this, fellas, look. Rotating your wrist up just like that, just like that, just like that, okay? Now, Steph, what is the amount of reps and sets? I'm a high volume dude, bro. I like to do high sets. I like to do high reps. I mean. So if you're gonna do reverse curls, 15 reps, 12 to 20 reps, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, the key to big arms is having big forearms and big brachialis and also big triceps. Now, I've seen a dude in my comment section that say, don't train the muscle every day. Man, listen, bro, that's bullshit. That's bullshit, okay? Straight bullshit. If you want a muscle to grow fast, try training it every day. I got my chest like this, bro. Look, fam, I got my chest like this, right? I got my chest like this, right? Because I was doing incline every day. I was doing push-ups every day. Try for 30 days. You want, your, you want your delts to be bigger, bro? Grab a 15 or 20 pound dumbbell every fucking day when you go in the gym. For 30 to 60 days, just rep that shit out. Rep it out. Perfect form, rep it out. Perfect form, rep it out. How many total sets? I mean, how many total reps? In total, maybe 100 to 200 reps in total. How many in a set? Maybe 10 to 20 in a set. How many sets will, I, will it take you? I don't know, that's on you. You want a bigger back? Do 100 to 200 pull-ups every day. You want bigger shoulders? Do, the, uh, do overhead press every day if you want to as well. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is the only forearm exercise that I do. I do the reverse curl here, and I do the wrist curl. Them the only forearm exercises that I do, fellas, all right? So, 
I just wanted to share that knowledge with you guys. That's the video for today. Um, don't forget to like this video. Share with people, man. I'm coming out with more, way more workout videos for you guys. Don't make this shit hard, bro. It's very simple. It is not hard, okay? It is simple. All right, now, I know certain guys are gonna be like, Steph, what about recovery? What if my muscles are still sore? What if my muscles are tired? Fellas, you need to be drinking a lot of fucking water. You need to be taking L-glutamine, right? Um, I take a supplement called Rebuild Strength. The link will be in the description. Why right? it has all the amino acids and all the ingredients for me to recover faster. If I have uh, my muscles are inflamed and I take this product, I recover faster. I recover at a faster rate. Now my muscle might be still be a little sore, but not as sore. So, fellas, your your muscles are going to be sore, but. I don't, I don't believe you should train through a super sore muscle. Now, if your muscle's a little sore, you can train through it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But the more you do it, the more your muscles will get used to it. You know what I'm saying? That's just facts. The more you do it, your, the more your muscles will get used to it. So, you know, a lot of guys ask me that, like, Steph, what about recovery? Man, your forearms hurt, man. Take, take, take. You need to take supplements. You need to take supplements so you can recover at a faster rate. There's nothing wrong with taking supplements. Oh, I'm all natural. I'm all natural. Okay, motherfucker, you are now. Okay, good for you, okay? <laughs> good for you, but I just wanted to show y'all, share this tip with y'all, man, you know, the, the reverse curve. Now, now, I'm gonna show y'all one more time. One more time, all right? Shoulder blades back. Don't be doing curls like this. Put your shoulder blades back first. Shoulder blades, roll them holes back. One of them, just like that. Two of them. Three of them. Four of them, okay? And then when you wanna hit, the, the, the back part of your forearm, all you're doing is rolling this up like you're driving a motorcycle. Roll that bitch up. Just roll that hoe up, just like that. Just, just, just like that, it, it don't matter. You know, I'm just using this small attachment here. This is like 50 pounds. I'm just showing y'all this because it's a tutorial video. You can use a bigger bar if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Just don't be yanking this shit. Don't be doing the dumbass shit like that. You can use a bigger bar if you want to, but the only reason why most of you use is small, it's because, oh, wait, oh, I, I gotta put the weight. Like, yeah, you, you gotta get stronger. You're gonna get strong by my nigga. You're not gonna get stronger overnight. Your muscles are still small as fuck because you're steady. Jerking a fucking arm. You ain't supposed to work out like that. I ain't saying go hella slow, but the number one tip about recruiting your muscle fibers is execution. Form and execution. If you don't have the proper form, that weight don't mean shit. <laughs> Alright, so that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, peace.